So today we will discuss idealism geology defined mainly for questions. We will start from MCQ. First MCQ one mark. The first question is the plate tectonic setting of Benihab wadded zone. So Benihab wadded zone it is always associated with subduction zone. So it is an earthquake distribution zone. So it is an earthquake distribution zone where you will find all type of earthquake. Starting from your shallow focus to deep focus. So it is the depth of focus of the earthquake up to you will find up to 670 km or you can say up to 700 km. So at such a greater depth only in subduction zone you will find earthquake. क्योंकि सबडक्शन जोन में जो होता है जो ब्रिटल सब्सटेंस होता है जो लिथोस्फीयर होता है इट कैन डाइव अप टू और इट कैन अवेलेबल अप टू 700 किलोमीटर बिकॉज़ ऑफ द सबडक्शन सो व्हाट इट मीन यू जोन इट इज द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ सबडक्शन जोन सो द आंसर विल बी सबडक्शन जोन सो दिस इज अ सबडक्शन जोन बाय द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ आर्थक्वेक इज शोन हियर There is also neutron reach unstable nuclei. The so neutron reach means neutron by proton ratio will be greater than one. So when uh, neutron by proton ratio is greater than one, then it will be a beta minus decay. That means the neutron has to release a negatron. What will say beta minus particle, and by this process it will convert to a proton. If neutron by proton ratio less than one, then there will be beta plus decay, or what will say what will call it positron decay. So here it is asking what is the neutron reach unstable nuclei decay. So it will be beta minus decay because beta minus decay occur when neutron by proton ratio it is greater than 1 so your neutron will be more so it will emit beta particle to convert to proton so answer will be b a, sorry a and also which of the following texture is found in alkali olivine vessel so this is a question you have to explore the options only. So Rafa PV it is between K feldspar and oligoclase. This is not the constituent of alkali olivine vessel. Then graphic texture it is in between quartz. And also, please, this type of this type of uh, texture will find in silica saturated rock. Blastophytic, it is completely discarded because it is a metamorphic texture. Then, also, intergranular. The intergranular texture it is a type of texture that form in basaltic flow. So, it will be the suitable answer for the alkali olivine basalt. The answer will be T. Moving to the next question, the mineral assembly is found in granulite phases. So, granulite phases it is characterized by orthopyrexin and clinoparexin. So, these are the metabasite that are found in granulite phases, or you can say mostly granulite phases contain anhydrous mineral. So, it will be the correct option. Then, glaucophane it is a characteristic mineral of blue cyst phases. Then, actinolite, chloride, those are. Characteristic mineral of green sea species, then omphacite garnet is a characteristic mineral of eclogite species. So the correct answer will be B. Then also glossopteris is found in which of the following formation. So glossopteris, these are the characteristic flora of uh, sorry, uh, glossopteris is the characteristic flora of one 
it is found in lower Gondwana, it is a characteristic fossilla, lower Gondwana. So, Ranicus it belongs to lower Gondwana. Then, Pagra, Lameta, Nimar, Lameta is not under Gondwana. Then, Nimar sandstone it is in Principality Street. So the answer will be Ranigans, it is in lower Gondwana. Prosopolis is found in lower Gondwana. And also in sequence of undeformed sedimentary rocks, younger rocks overlie older rocks. The move on principle, so it is the famous law of Steno, where in an undeformed strata or undisturbed strata, the uh, younger rock is always at the top and older rock is always at the bottom. It is called as a law of superposition. Then uniformitarianism, it is the law that present is the key to the past. So we see the present processes, then we assume about the past processes. And then fall of succession is on the basis of evolution of organism or stages of evolution of organism. Then original horizontality, any sedimentary strata, it will deposit, deposit always horizontal manner. If you find any inclined bed, that means it undergoes some deformation. The answer will be superposition. Then drop stone. So drop stones are type of structure that form in glacio lacustrine environment. Glacio lacustrine environment. Does the name suggest something is dropped on the glacio lacustrine sediments or clay sediments? We prefer the yeah we. Uh, sediment particle or any wooden fragment they drop on the clay sediments of lake that form in glacier. So that is called a drop stone. So drop stone is a characteristic feature of the glacier uh, environment. So that's why from all these formations, the culture is the glacial formation, it is dominated by glacial deposit. So the answer will be culture formation. Then the sedimentary structure formed by unidirectional current is the unidirectional flow that produces current bedding from you can say asymmetrical ripple. So from uh, the migration of asymmetrical ripple, it will produce cross bedding or current bedding. So when the crest of the ripple is curved, then it will produce a draw cross bedding where one of the bounding surface of the one of the bounding or both can be, uh, both will be curved ones. So that is called as a draw cross bedding. So draw cross bedding it is produced from asymmetrical ripple. So asymmetrical it is a unidirectional feature. So, draw cross bedding also the unidirectional current. Then, oscillation ripple it is producing baby condition or in motion condition where bidirectional condition persists, so it will be incorrect. Then, concretion it is a precipitation structure by chemical means, it is incorrect. Then, humocic cross stratification it is also producing storm condition in shallow marine condition, and marine conditions are bi bidirectional, so it will be incorrect. So, answer will be draw cross bedding. Which of the following is the precursor of petroleum? That means which one form before the petroleum? First thing, the in, uh, organic matter that deposited within the ocean, they undergo intense heat, pressure, then they will convert to a waxy material that is called as a kerosene. Then, kerosene again it will convert to liquid oil and hydrocarbons. 
then from liquid earth we extract petroleum so that means before petroleum we will find kerosene Clarion between those are the constituents are coal, so it will be answer will be kerosene. So which of the following is an amorphous variety of SiO2? So SiO2 has different variety, one has different variety. One is a crystalline variety, then citrine of it, those are uh, you can say gene variety. Uh, sorry, citrin is a gene variety, of it is a crystalline variety. Then opal, it is a non crystalline variety, or you can say amorphous variety. So, answer will be D. This comes to MCQ 2 marks. The name of the igneous rock having a model composition of 55% olivine, 40% orthocarotene, and 5% plagioclase. So as you can in this diagram, it is all traffic rock classification diagram where if you take olivine 55 percent, orthobarazin 40 percent, and 5 percent plagioclase. So it will be on this line where uh, you will find olivine and opx will be as well. And which of the following is the correct descending order of abundance of element in solar system? The solar system most abundant element is hydrogen. So then this is the abundance uh, graph and see this Udo Harkins graph, it is called as well. Udo Harkins graph. Uh, hydrogen is the most abundant element, then helium, then oxygen, then we will say iron. So this is the sequence you will find here in this diagram. So answer will be D. Hydrogen, then helium, then oxygen, then I. The suture of sepalpura having smooth saddle and cannulatal, cannulatal lobe. So the five types of suture. One you can say straight, then this is Round, uh, rounded saddle, rounded lobe, this is your saddle, this is your lobe. Then another like this, rounded saddle, angular lobe, another like this, rounded saddle, finely divided, well, uh, finely divided or granulated lobe. So this is O, N, G, C. Orthostatic, nautiloid, goniated, this is serratitic. So serratitic uh, has Rounded saddle but granulated or finely divided lobe. Then comes the ammonite where all the saddle and lobes are finely divided. So here according to according to question, it will be C. You can also see from this diagram. Then goes to which of which of the following is a body fossil? Body fossil is not as any type of uh, fossil that contain any body part that is called as a body fossil. So here coprolite footprints, those are completely discarded. And there is a controversy between stromatolite and cast. Basically, in some cases, stromatolite it is considered as a pseudo fossil. It is uh, normally called as a biogenic sedimentary structure. So that's why it is also discarded. So that's why the answer is given as cast. The answer will be cast. By the morphological teacher with uh, with their organisms. Disseminate is a type of uh, structure that produces an anthozoa. So anthozoa has divisions uh, within its chamber by septa. So those septa they are kept apart by disseminates. In between septa you will find disseminates. 
in deltherium it is the opening in tracheopoda that is pedicle opening that is covered by uh, that is covered by deltherial plates so deltherium it is the opening in the uh, you can say suppose this is our tracheopoda like this so this is a pedicle opening so pedicle opening sometimes it is uh, shared by both valves so smaller valve it is called as your brachial valve larger valve it is called pedicle valve so the opening on the pedicle valve side it is called as your deltherium and the opening on the brachial valve side it is called chilidium so deltherium it is related to brachial valve then pygidium it is the tail section it is related to trilobites then ambulacral it is uh, the plates coronal plates it is related to echinoderma answer will be a the matter sedimentary feature pyrolytes pyrolytes it is uh, a short tooth like structure like this so it is produced because of pressure solution so because of overlying pressure so if there is a limestone rock or carbonate rock it will start to dissolute because of pressure there is called pressure solution it can happen during diagenesis pseudo nodules pseudo nodules are similar to ball and pillow structure so it is produced when any the sand layer this is mod layer so when mod layer liquefies the sand layer then your ball or pillow shape sand will detach that is called as your ball and pillow structure and it is the other name is your pseudo nodules then current crescent and stomatrite stuma here also given it is called organo sedimentary binding that is also a structure it is given here so that's why the question is not considered there then current crescent it is produced by scoring axis as will be a then comes to dry canter dry canter it is uh, this in venti facts green faceted pebbles when uh, venti facts are two venti facts are two smooth surface it is called dry canter so it is eolian the surface obviously it is glacial arm cell like structure or artifactory basin structure natural it is it is reach parallel to the river valley produced by flood this fluvial and warm it is peach it is the reach which divides the pore soil and back soil so answer will be a so the correct Uh, ranks or hierarchy of the river study of unit so it is lithos study of unit so the largest unit will be group then formation then member then bed so bed member formation group then super group will come the formation is the fundamental unit bed is the smallest unit the mass of mineral sillimanite Sillimanite it produces second order colors. Then quartz it produces first and yellow colors. Then comes to muscovite. Muscovite it is produced third order variegated colors. Then calcite it uh, produces greater than third order colors because it has very high bidirectionality. So answer will be C. Then comes to the saturated thickness of an uh, unconfined aquifer is defined by the distance between. So the saturated thickness between the unconfined aquifer is you can see here in this diagram. 
this is the water table up to water table all the rock, uh, all the sediments are saturated so this is our confined layer this is our unconfined aquifer this is this is confined this part is unconfined Those confines are sandwiched between two impermeable layers. So, in confined, uh, in unconfined, that is the range of unconfined, the saturated part is from this point, that is your water table, to unconfined. Water table to, un, uh, sorry, water table to confined by any uh, confined layer. So the answer will be the water table and the underlying confined layer that will be determine the saturated thickness of the uncombined aquifer. Saturated means up to that level all the pore spaces are completely filled. When it comes to the sea loss for 25 the volume of groundwater. Dacilla, it is Q into A I A. For the discharge, it is as a unit of meter cube per day or for a time intensity. So, uh, by the volume of groundwater, the volume of groundwater per unit time. Then according to Strala stream ordering system, what is the highest? So in Strala stream ordering system, what is the rule? When two same order meet, they will increase the order by one. So first, uh, we'll try to numbering them. So those uh, stream, those are uh, doesn't have any branches, they will be considered as faster. So this will be faster, it will be faster, it will be faster, it will be faster. So now these two faster, these confluence here or joining here, so they will produce second order. Then again, this second order is joining faster here. So when second order will join faster, there will be no change in order. So second order will continue. And again, this will be second order. Then here faster or faster they are turning to produce second order. Then here same thing so it will be again second order. Now these are two second order segment meeting here so they will produce a third order segment. On this whole numbering system or on this uh, release pattern the highest number will be 3 or third order. Highest order will be 3. The answer will be The comes with a tunnel with vertical wall ash uh, crown is constructed for a site of sedimentary weight. The thickness of individual weight is significantly less than the wall height of the tunnel or with the following condition one of the tunnel wall become unstable. Tunnel axis is horizontal and the plates are horizontal. So first thing, if a tunnel has vertical wall like this and arched crown, this is the crown, to keep the tunnel axis parallel to the strike of the bed. Suppose this is the tunnel, so now it runs parallel to the strike of the bed with, you can say, at an angle like this. In this case, they will cut all the vertical wall of the tunnel. So the vertical wall will completely, you can say, unstable in this condition. So that's why the answer will be the tunnel axis is parallel to the strike of the bed and the bed is 45 degree to 60 degree. So this is tunnel, this is tunnel axis, 
is this type of the bed they are parallel to each other and it will intersect the tunnel bed like this so it will be uh, it will be unstable for the tunnel wall and all other condition that uh, it is the most unsuitable condition all other condition can be unsuitable but it is the most unsuitable condition will come to a plunging fold will not so v shaped outer pattern on the planar ground surface if the plunge of the fold axis so what is a plunge it is when fold axis or is line it became inclined to the surface so as you can see here this is a plunge this is the hinge line it is parallel to this bed or horizontal line so it is non plunging if it is like this now it is inclined from the horizontal so where uh, when the fold is plunges it will produce a v pattern on a horizontal ground on a horizontal ground so just imagine if you tilt this fold along with this bed agar tum fold ko bhi tilt karoge along with this bed ka imagine karo the whole structure to bend kar rahe ho but tilt kar rahe ho you are tilting the whole structure then what will happen the fold will produce the same outer pattern on the bed on the tilting bed but if it is a horizontal bed then it will produce this the bed will be tilted and the ground will be horizontal sorry the whole fold is tilted ground is horizontal then it produce this both are tilting in the same angle then they will produce no v shape it is also very similar to your bs so this will be the answer equal to the deep of the ground surface in the same direction then now to this question the given map show the outer patterns of bed 1 to 4 across a fault so now this is a fault okay so what are given so given 1 is the youngest 2 is the 4 uh, is the oldest now a fault is here but with the correct explanation for this so fault is dipping towards the north east side south east side the first thing you have to study this condition suppose this is syncline as a syncline Uplift and exposed to the surface, the space between the limb will decrease, and that's why the outcrop width of the syncline or syncom it decreases when it will uplift it. Last thing, this one. Then come to this structure. This is fault. So this part you'll find one, two, three, all bed. But this part, the so top bed that is one, that is absent. So, so top surface में जो bed था, वो अगर absent है, that means कि this part undergo erosion. So, if this part undergo erosion, in case of faulted, which part undergo erosion? The upthrown side, because it will uplift it. So, suppose you see. in a faulted terrain we always see the upfront part always get eroded this the upfront part so it will get eroded always because it has higher elevation so 
from this diagram we can say ki this part is up from this part is down from okay then comes to the concept you have to remember if the fault plane lean towards the up from side if the fault plane lean towards the up from side then it will be a reverse fault it will be reverse fault and you can see the outflow width of bed 2 is narrower here and wider here so as in case of syncline if the bed or the in case of syncline after erosion the outflow narrows down in case of a faulting case so the uh, if a, a sin uh, sin form or sin plane it undergoes faulting after erosion its outflow width decreases so that's why we can know which side is up from which side is down from so as it is narrower here so this is a sin form now we can say as it is sin form so it will plunge opposite to its outflow closing direction so outflow is closing in this direction it will plunge in this direction so that's why the south easterly plunging sin form is subsequently faulted with a reverse fault with block x this is of So the answer will be A. So the question from two is a very easy question. Two of two non-parallel faces connected by a mirror plane. Then this symbol, this is a data question. The symbol, this symbol indicates axis. So it is a line. This symbol indicates form, and this is indicates face. So it will be line, form, and face. In terms of bow down group, it will be obviously investor down over banded kissing complex. It is the basement of Ara Valley. It will be in Ara Valley. Then Bonai granite. It is the granite from Singhu group or Singhu crater. Then Kolar group. It is from Eastern Ghats. It will be A. Which one of the metamorphic phases sequence in order of increasing metamorphic grade defines formal metamorphism? The so formal metamorphism it is uh, there at low pressure and high temperature metamorphism. So those are confined to low pressure by temperature condition. This is the low pressure by temperature series consists of sulphide epidote complex, species sulphide complex, pyrazine complex. And salinity on this. That's what is B. The nickel ores are not associated with. So nickel generally forms through orthomotive oxidation. It is produced by lateritic uh, nickel lateritic deposition. It is formed by weathering action and also found in polymetallic noodles. In uh, OCF, so only it is not produced by hydrothermal alteration in scar region. This comes to MSQ section. General public statement of partial melting are correct. I think shallow melting produces politic basal because if melting occurs at the shallow level, then it has to traverse. Less lithospheric part. 
So if it will traverse less lithospheric part, then it cannot get fractionated much. So fluidity component will be more because if a magma that is generating at greater depth, then when it will rise upward, then it get fractionated and become alkali. But shallow level, if it is the case of we can say medusinary rays, can be a case of medusinary rays where magma rises from shallow level, so it doesn't get sufficient time for fractionation. So it is not, it will be enriched in a field. So that will produce a quality person. Then low degree of partial melting produces alkali oxide. So always the alkali, alkali thing always produced by low degree of melting because it produces it uh, contains sodium potassium. So those are mostly at a uh, uh, melted low temperature. And less amount, low degree means less amount of melting. So if less amount of melting will occur, that will be more increased in sodium potassium and potassium will also um, uh, you can say incompatible element in that case in mantle. So it will be more, you can say, uh, concentrated within the liquid. So these two options will be correct. Then comes to presence of CO2, CO2 rich will produce carbonatite. Then presence of H2 it is the condition of subduction zone where a hydrated melt will be there and it will produce an interpreted type of magma. So this will be incorrect. So which of the following fossil group are from Siwali? Shivali, it is uh, a neogeny age. So, in neogeny age, you will never dinosaur. So, it will not be the option, and all other will found in all other vertebrates are found in Shivali. You can check the Shivali succession. The correct stratigraphic succession arranged in the form of oldest to youngest. This is the Cretaceous of Pilchinapalli. So this is incorrect. This is actually Pacham chair Tatrolumia. This is Kamlial Chinji Nagari, the Pacham Tatro, it is correct. It is Shivali. And Semri Kaimur Reva Bandar, it is in there, it is also incorrect. the following combinations are correctly matched so it is photic zone that is for the biogenic carbonate because photic zone it is uh, where sunlight occurs of which you can see zero to 200 meter depth where the upper portion is more enriched so the photic zone contains high amount of uh, high organic reach uh, sorry high productivity condition where you find more organisms so that's why you will find more biogenic carbonates there because of high productivity. And delta it is a progression of coarsening of sequence. You see top set, bottom set, then then top set, core set, bottom set. If you go up, then core set, and top set is the coarser one, and bottom set is the final one. So coarsening of sequence. Then software. Subtract is produced during storm condition, but it is produced by precipitation. So it is not a self storm deposition. Then self break submarine fans. So submarine fans are produced at the, you can say, uh, continental rise part. The continental rise part, it is the cell break. So where the cell will end. So it can be considered as cell break is submarine is correct. So A B B. Then high drainage density is representative of terrain with high relief. This is high relief you have greater gradient, then also you can see greater variability of deep so that you will get greater stream number. So that's why it, it has greater density. Then impermeable surface layer, if it is impermeable then there will be more flow, so you will get more stream, that's why these two conditions will be correct 
and acid climate you will get higher density of faster to stream if polluted surface layer then there will be no further flow or there will be no much flow so that there will be no greater length so that will not produce a higher drainage density condition the mass wasting mass wasting mass movement so let's say the mass wasting process there is a mass wasting which has to do with volcanic condition the avalanche it is also a mass wasting associated with glacial condition for sandstorm it is not a glass it is not a mass movement condition it is just a wind storm condition so the answer will be a b and c next which one of the following correspond to the pyrazine group so pyrazine group and cng site o6 it is dioxide it is pyrazine group then ca al2 sao6 it is cusiorite it is a very rare pyrazine then it is lastonite it is pyrazinoid then nafe site o6 it is azrin it is a pyrazine so a b and d Which of the following processes are correctly matched with the corresponding deform structure? The pressure solution. It is rock cleavage. The pressure solution. There is the stylolithic type or anastomosing type. You will find in lithotic cleavage in Felicia. Joining produce produce formulas marking on joining surface due to formation of joint. Then a layer buckle compression. It is called as a buckle fold. So if you compress the bed along the layer with certain condition, it will produce buckle. It is also called as active. Cohesion loss. Cohesion loss will not produce. You can say a breaking, or you can say fracturing with movement will produce second set. Only cohesion loss will not produce second set. It will be incorrect. So A, B, and C. And for the given barrier metamorphic sequence, which are the following two. First, we will see this is chloride isochloride means this is chloride zone. So chloride zone started from chloride isochloride. Then after chloride zone, the next isochloride will be biotite isochloride. So it will be biotite isochloride, and it will be biotite zone. Then it is garnet isochloride. Isochloride. Then it is garnet zone. Then it is stellate isochloride. Then it is stellate zone. So after the one, the zone will started from the appearance of the isochloride. That means P isochloride is the garnet zone. No, P isochloride is the chloride zone. Then zone Q. It is a garnet zone. Obviously, zone Q, which is a garnet zone, because this is chloride isochloride, this is bi uh, biotite isochloride, this is garnet isochloride. So after garnet, garnet isochloride, you will find garnet zone. Then R isochloride is the kyanite isochloride, because this is stellate isochloride. Then this is stellate zone. Then this isochloride will be kyanite, kyanite isochloride. Then this will be kyanite zone. So R will be kyanite isochloride. So A, C, and D will be correct. Which one of the following formed by brittle deformation? So these are rocks that produce during dynamic metamorphism. So cataclysm, breccia, gauze, all are produced by brittle fracture. Only myelinite is the top tier one. You see in this figure also. This is brittle fault or brittle fracture. So brittle fault contains breccia, microbilcia, gauze, and pseudo translate. Then ductile it contains myelinite. So this is not all MCQ and MSQ. We will solve the NAT section in the next video.